Hi everyone, this is D, and today we're just gonna do another talk and let's just talk about divine timing. So this is all about that and that's just waiting on spirit. That's just knowing that spirit has our back. That's like putting it out to spirit, praying, meditating, reconnecting to the divine, our guardian angels, our ancestors, our higher self, and really communicating our desires and what we really, really want and need in our lives. They know, but it's still best to let it be known through words, through, you know, the connection spirit, you know, taking that time out to reconnect. A lot of us are on spiritual timeouts. Spirit demands that of us so we can reconnect. A lot of us are busy bodies, so we're going here, there. We have to work. We have to do this and that. I'm constantly trying to, you know, do my thing for you guys. So we have to take time out, whether it's for, you know, we I take meditational walks. So a lot of times I, I'll walk around the neighborhood and just try to just be at ease in my mind and get out of my thoughts so much as far as my desires and the things that I want and just reconnect, just be. And that is a, going a long way in showing spirit that you trust spirit, that you trust God, you trust the creator and bringing to you exactly what you want. Once you pray, once you put out those desires, you can let go. <laughs> and that's difficult for a lot of us. I know it is for me at times. And it's just about once you pray, once you put that out there to spirit, to the universe, to source, you know, let go and just let God and know that they have our back. And also, you know, being okay with the divine timing of things. A lot of times we want it now. We want it right here, right now. And a lot of the tarot readings are telling us it's in the next cycle, it's in the next season, it's in the next week or two weeks or three weeks. But I find that it's a process. So we don't know what spirit is doing a lot of times. And that's why tarot is so huge, because it's trying to give us like a understanding of what the spiritual energy is around us and what we can expect. But we also have to remember if we're on a spiritual timeout, that could be what's blocking those things coming in. So if, if I pull a Virgo card or if I, I mean a Virgo card, that's the hermit. If I pull the hermit, which is a Virgo card, or if I pull the hangman, or if I pull the four swords, it's telling us that we need to reconnect. Even the temperance card is that like we need to reconnect to spirit, to our higher selves and to our divine selves and remember we are spiritual beings we're not just all material and a lot of times we want what we want you know the desires are strong within us and a lot of us have had to wait we've been on you know these huge waiting spurts to where it's like is this ever gonna happen like i keep listening to tarot they're saying this they're telling me that but i'm still in the same place that i've been in and just understand that, no, you're not. <laughs> a lot of times we're learning what we need to learn from people and situations. We're learning our own worth. We're learning our own value. We're learning the truth about who we really are and where we come from. We come from spirit. And it's amazing to be like material, like, you know, in our bodies. But we also have to remember what animates this body is spirit. Once the spirit leaves, once our soul leaves this body, it's just a body, you know, and it's no longer going to be able to do what it's doing now. So we want to appreciate every single day. We want to appreciate every moment that we get and just remember our spiritual connection because, you know, that's what where our power lies. All of our power lies in our spiritual connection and remembering that and knowing we are connected at all times. Even if we feel like we're alone, spirit is right there. And spirit knows what, <laughs> spirit knows when, spirit knows how. There's a song that I listened to from Stevie Wonder and it's called Always. I, I think the title is like A-S, but in the song, he's explaining that God knows when. So 
you know, seasons happen, seasons happens exactly the change when it's supposed to. We have no control over when the season changes, but every season leaves change. We get snow or, you know, it's time to start sprouting flowers again and then we get to bloom, (laughs) you know, so it's like seasons know exactly when to change and that's all God. That's nothing that we have to do. We just wake up and see (laughs) the new day. So it's about that. It's about divine timing. And if you think back to past situations in your life, all the things you've gotten through, all the people you know and have met, it's been through God at the right time. You know, I can remember the day I met my preen, my wife that passed, and the day it happened, I was not expecting to meet her. I was not expecting to meet anyone. It just so happens it, that was the day. And even past girlfriends and past friends that I have <laughs> still to this day, I didn't create that. God made that happen on that day. They were like, okay, today's the day you're going to meet such and such. <laughs> and so it was. And so I had no control of that. And it's like amazing to know that spirit has our back. They know what, they know when, they know how, they know where, (laughs) you know, and it's kind of a relief to not have to do everything, to not know everything and to give that to God and to just be thankful and grateful for what we have now. But, you know, spirit is amazing in divine timing of things like, to give you what you need exactly when you need it is like a miracle that happens. It's like you can't really put a finger on it. You can't beat it because it's how God works. It has God's signature all over it. When God moves in your favor and does things for us, it's just such a blessing to see that we're not forgotten. We are never forgotten, even though, you know, we're here in the material form and we can't see the unseen they're all around us spirit is all around us all the time our loved ones who passed on are always trying to communicate with us always trying to send us messages and just let us know they're with us and there's ways we can communicate if we choose to you can ask for feathers i keep finding (laughs) every time i do like this i talk like this I'll find a feather, I'll find a penny or a dime or a quarter or a nickel, and that's them communicating with me. Yes, you're correct. We are with you. And that's ancestors. That's your higher self just letting you know that you're not alone. And there is divine timing that you can trust. There is God that you can trust. There is spirit, the soul world that you can trust that they know our wants. They know our desires, and we can give that to them. But it's up to us to be the perfect antenna and receive and know that we're receiving blessings. Even when, you know, we're not getting what we want, we still get to wake up. We still get to live another day. We still get to enjoy one another. We might have some hardships we're going through, but it's all in design of a test or spiritual graduation to get to the other side to see the beauty, to see the greatness, to see your value, to see your worth, and really know that, you know, everything has a reason, everything has a purpose. We're here for that. And this place is like a testing ground. We're always learning, and then we get to enjoy life as well in between. But, you know, when we're going through these spiritual tests, they can be very trying, they can be very difficult, they can be make or break you, you know, in the sense that, you know, you're giving everything you got in life. But just knowing that spirit has our back and we can wait on God and we can know that God won't leave us. If you look at the birds and the ducks and all these animals outside, they're taking care of themselves. Every morning I get to look out this window and see the birds all different kinds of birds, getting worms, eating grass, you know, in the water, bathing and sunbathing and just enjoying life. And I get to thinking like, okay, I'm all in my mind and all in my head about this and that and all kinds of other things and wanting and desiring and wondering when, 
when the tarot readings are telling me it's coming in, but it doesn't come in that week or it doesn't come in the next week or it doesn't come in the next week after that. I still get glimpses of what they're telling me of, you know, things about to happen. And I do see things each week that the readings say, but everything doesn't happen. Like if I get a reading about love, I'm expecting that to come in and it doesn't come in. So it's just telling me I'm getting closer to that time frame and to be okay with that. And, you know, even with a job or finances or, you know, needing help in certain situations, we have to know that God knows our desires and give that to God. And how you be okay with that is to meditate, is to pray, is to reconnect and just let it go, give it to God because they love us. We are truly loved by spirit. And you can know that truly for yourself if you reconnect. And that's why the spiritual timeouts are so huge so we can reconnect. So I love y'all. I just want to send y'all this message to wait on divine timing. Everything is going to be okay. Love y'all.